Immigrant rights advocates are blasting the Biden administration over reports it's looking for a contractor to run an immigrant detention facility at Guantanamo Bay's U.S. naval base. Homeland Security is reportedly seeking security guards who speak Spanish and Haitian Creole. The DHS told reporters the Biden administration will not send Haitian asylum seekers from the southern border to the facility. Migrants apprehended at sea have been temporarily held at Guantanamo in the past. This comes as deportation flights continue to expel Haitian asylum seekers from the U.S. without due process under Title 42. The Biden administration is challenging a court order, which is set to halt the Trump-era policy at the end of the month. Hundreds of Haitians who cross the border have also chosen to leave unsafe conditions and return to Mexico. Sí, me siento decepcionado, porque nosotros cruzamos allá, no es eso que queríamos. Porque lo que uno ve allá son, son muy malos para nosotros. Imagínate, cruzamos allá, ellos, si, si fuera que nosotros somos basura. Así fue, parece pa, para ellos. Así fue, porque no darle comida, agua, nada, nada. No hay, no hay médico, nada. Imagínate, muchos niños, muchas mujeres embarazadas. Las cosas están muy malas para nosotros. On Capitol Hill, Democratic lawmakers held a news conference Wednesday to denounce the Biden administration's treatment of Haitian refugees at the U.S.-Mexico border. California Congresswoman Maxine Waters cited photos and video from last weekend showing Border Patrol agents on horseback chasing, grabbing and whipping Haitian asylum seekers. What the hell are we doing here? What we witness takes us back hundreds of years. What we witnessed was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys, with their reins again, whipping black people, Haitians, into the water, where they're scrambling and falling down, and all they're trying to do is escape from violence in their country. In other immigration news, lawyers have still not been able to reach the parents of over 300 children who were ripped apart from their families at the U.S. southern border under Trump's family separation policy. Only 50 children have been reunited by a Biden administration task force charged with bringing the families back together.